afternoon, guys. Come on in. Welcome to Life of Palos, guys, for the first time in a long time. So I promised you guys we would do a house tour because I think I asked for like 5,000 likes and we got like 15,000, so here we go. Okay, so first stop on my left is gonna be the dining room. So we don't actually use the dining room all that often. I think how many times have we actually used our dining room in our current house tonight? Like two? Yeah, zero, okay, zero times. So dining room, it's really nice. It's got like a nice like recessed lighting up there. Um, I guess it's got some cool little elements of style. I don't know, we're not really gonna use it very often. Megan's gonna wanna buy something, but we're probably not gonna do very much of this. Yeah. All right, Ooh, this one is locked. Oops. <laughs> this is gonna be my upstairs office. So here's the cool thing, guys. We're gonna talk about this in a minute. This is gonna be my upstairs office, and right now I do all the Life of Pablo's videos from my office, but we're actually gonna be building a studio downstairs, so you're not actually gonna see me doing very many videos in here at all. All right. Yes, very exciting. Bathroom. This is, this is not uh, exciting. Yeah, we're gonna leave. Let's this go. This is where Life of Pablo's is gonna do, do No, get out of here, let's go. <laughs> do his pooping. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on. Uh, so this is our, I guess it's like our foyer or whatever area. I'll get a little chandelier up on top. Uh, Megan's gonna be putting a giant Christmas tree here. I'm digging it, I like it. That's got a good flow to it. Christmas tree, right here. Yes. All right, guys, so over here, uh, I guess this is like our, our family room. We got a nice little fireplace over in the corner. I'm super pumped about it. I'm not sure where I want my TV yet. Probably on this side over here, but. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And then behind you over this way is my favorite part of the main floor. And this is the kitchen that Megan designed. So Megan got like white quartz countertops and then did like this gray subway tile that runs across like the whole kitchen, which I absolutely love. I don't actually use the kitchen that much. Megan is the cook of the family, uh, but this is where all the eating will go down, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, this is actually awesome. So I double oven and then this apparently I think has, yeah, it's got Wi-Fi connection. This is like the coolest thing ever. I didn't even know that they made ovens with Wi-Fi connection. So if we want to turn on cookies or something, there we, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. All right guys, over here, it's super messy, but this is gonna be like a little bit of a coffee bar area every morning, I suppose, or maybe just energy drinks. I'm not really sure. In this Life of Palos fans, or shit, hold on. This Life of Paulo's fam is where Aaron is gonna eat his Wheaties every morning. Okay, it's a breakfast nook. It's like a little like side area for, for morning light and stuff like that, so. Yeah, little pantry over here. It's so exciting. I know you guys wanna see pantry footage. Mmm. Then our backyard. A little cold outside. But uh, they're not done landscaping everything yet. So yeah, we're gonna have like probably like furniture here and then like we're gonna have the landscaping get done over the course of the next couple of weeks, I think. Nothing too crazy, just some places for Senator to run. That'll be uh, just about it. All right guys, one of my favorite parts of the house and one of the reasons why we bought it is for the garage. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Come on in. So uh, we've got basically like three car garage up front. And we're gonna do like LED lights across the top. You're probably gonna epoxy down as well. But come around the corner here, and I think we have probably almost another full-size garage space back here. We haven't stacked the cars yet, but I'm pretty sure I can fit two cars right here. But it gets better because if we open the garage door and we look across, we actually have another garage space over here. So uh, one car garage over here and like almost three and a half, four right here. So we'll have a ton of room for like every car we could possibly want. I don't think I'm ever gonna have more than five cars. I'm not that crazy, so yeah. All right, we are going downstairs. Megan's a little bit of a slow poke right now. Right, Moog? Yeah. So this is gonna be the studio. I'm gonna build like a whole studio here for like all the news that we do right against this wall. We're gonna fill this out with some awesome car stuff. And then, yeah, this will be where I do all the, all the videos we do every day. And my favorite part of maybe the entire house, okay? So you walk through this little corridor and then we have our, I guess it's our theater room, right Megan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, theater room. So like a little bit of a raised seating right here. We're gonna either put a projector up here or a TV on the wall. We're not really sure yet. Built-in surround sound is gonna be sick. And then we painted the walls like black so we could black out everything and just like have movie nights and stuff and chill. That's what I like to do when I'm not doing videos. It's gonna be fun. All right guys, so we got a bathroom, which is totally unexciting. And then we have Megan's office, which I'm not really gonna be allowed in, I think, right Megan? No boys allowed. Yeah, that's it. So go, go, shoot. All right guys, we are going upstairs, let's go. 
Alright guys, this is like our upstairs bonus room. I'm not really sure what to call it. So we haven't talked about it yet. I know you guys don't care whatsoever, but Megan wanted this wood look tile here. So this is actually not wood. It's actually tile to make. Tile to make look like wood. Yeah, whatever. You get the idea. It looks nice and it cleans up easy, I suppose. Good for animals. Yeah. Alright, bedroom over here. Bedroom over here is gonna be like a guest room. We've got a nice walk-in closet, which we will not fill with anything because guest room. And then each of the guest rooms has their own bathroom, which Megan picked out all the design elements, like the white rock and everything here too. So super exciting. And then we have another little corridor. We got another guest room with basically the exact same layout. So walk-in closet over there and then other bathroom. All right guys, so we got the master bedroom now, which is my, I keep saying my favorite part of the house, but yeah, it's an awesome part, let's go. Oop. All right, so this is actually the, like the master living area right here. We got a fireplace and the fireplace actually wraps around here. So we're gonna have like a couch out here, like a sitting room, and then if you come with me over here, we walk up to the bedroom area where we're gonna have the bed. It's, we have the exact same fireplace that has, basically you can see it from both sides. It's gonna be really nice. I'm digging it. And then we got our super, super tiny closet for me right here. And you'll see why this is my closet in like two seconds. All right, probably Megan's favorite part of the lot. Is that, is that right, Megan, right here? Yes. Okay, this is the master bathroom. Megan basically picked out everything in here. It's a white subway tile, clawfoot tub, two different sinks. I get the tiny one, of course, yes. And then you can walk over here. And we got a little like walk-in shower with like two spouts up here. This is the only thing that I picked out in like the entire house with this black like rock with white brown everywhere. I think it looks really cool, but uh, yeah, this is my this is my little contribution to the whole bathroom. In this life of Paulo's fam is where Aaron's gonna take his hey, morning dump. And this is my closet. So spacious. Megan's closet is ginormous. Yes. And closetception. It's a closet within a closet. Yup. Probably for my There's shoes. way too much room in here. I never I don't have enough clothes for this. I really don't care about clothes as you can see what I'm wearing right now. But yeah, basically like this giant L is her closet. This is like a, basically is like the biggest room as I had back in college. So kinda nuts. Laundry room off of my closet. Yeah, not not excited. We don't care about the laundry room. Let's go. We do. All right, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the house. Yeah, I, I don't know if I ever went over like square footage or anything, but it's like almost like 6,000 square feet total. So lots of space, probably more space than we're ever gonna need. And you'll have to excuse me, guys. I'm not a real estate YouTuber, so this was definitely a little bit weirder than my normal stuff, but had to answer what you guys gave me. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support on doing the house tour, and we're gonna start doing a lot more vlogs as soon as we move in. So thank you guys so much, and uh, that's all I got, so bye. Whoa, hello, actually I'm not done with the video. There was actually something I wanted to make sure I talked to you guys about before we finish. I guess back in the normal office in my current house. So for starters guys, thank you for watching the house tour. Uh, kind of a weird thing for me to do. This might sound super weird because I get on camera and I feel so okay now talking to you, but I actually get a little bit shy during actual vlogs. So it's a little bit weirder for me to do them. So give me a little bit of a break in the comments today if I seem a little bit different than my normal self. I'm so used to doing the news that doing a vlog feels very foreign to me most of the time. But if you enjoy the house tour, uh, please leave a like. That would mean the world to me. Uh, my wife Megan and I made the video for you guys and gave you kind of an insight into a lot of things that you don't really ever get to see. Like I never actually showed the house that I'm currently in. And what's kind of interesting, I thought I would share this with you guys, is I'm actually not selling my current house. We're actually going to be renting that house out and that's going to be paying for the mortgage on the new house over the course of a number of years. So kind of a cool thing. So yeah, keeping both houses, instead of buying one giant mega house, which I won't use because it's just my wife and me and my dog and cats, I uh, decided to buy something a little bit more manageable. So yeah, interesting stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And uh, man, I feel like there's something else I should be going over. Oh yeah, back to normal news tomorrow. And guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys have interesting news tips. That's the best possible place to get a hold of me. I love talking to you guys. And I do try to get to each and every person that messages me, although sometimes it does take me a long long time to get through everyone that actually hits me up. But thank you guys so much. Thanks for kind of bearing with a very different sort of vlog today. And we'll catch you guys very, very soon, probably tomorrow. And uh, that's all I got. Bye for real this time.